Next question is from Jessica Arkebeck. How much neat is too much? Can you overdo it? Does your body get too efficient with a certain daily step count like it would with long distance endurance cardio? We, it's too much when it becomes neato. Well, yeah, <laughs> we, I think we need to clear, clear some things up because, I, you know, we started talking about neat more than anybody I know in the space a, a long time ago. And there's there's a little bit of blurriness here, right? Uh, you know, neat is technically non-exercise. So it's it's things that you just would naturally do. Um, actively walking would actually technically fall under the, the, you know, movement or cardio. It wouldn't necessarily fall under neat. So, you know, can you do too much neat? No, like you're, you, you can't, uh, do things that are naturally creating movement and calorie burn throughout your day because it's such a low level of intensity. It's not, uh, exercise. So you can't do too much neat. Um, I, you, I guess you could technically do too much walking, I mean, if you were walking so much that you're burning so many calories and you're under consuming, you're going to send a signal to the body to become efficient with those calories and potentially slow the metabolism down. Yeah. So it really depends on how you're fueling your it, body. It depends on your goals, who you are. You know, if you're moving too much, is it hurting your joints? Is your goal maximum muscle gain? That's a different answer than if your goal is just overall health, which is different than if you want lots of endurance. Like it really does depend on an, on the individual. Plus, I do want to make this point here: there is a certain amount of cardio or neat or whatever you want to call it that will actually help your body also build muscle. Because I don't want people to think the opposite. What I don't want is people to think, "Oh, my goal is to build as much muscle as possible. Therefore, I'm going to avoid all cardio and all activity." That will also reduce muscle building because some form of cardiovascular activity or amount of cardiovascular activity is going to improve your health which will then improve your body's ability to build muscle. Like for me, for example, who, you know, your classic, you know, ectomorph for, you know, when I was growing up, it was hard for me to build muscle. You know, I used to be afraid of any cardio. Like don't do any cardio. All I'm going to do is lift weights. That was actually a mistake. I had to do some to maintain my health, to have good health, which would then help my body build muscle. And I've noticed now that if I just lift weights, I don't build as much muscle than if I lift weights and incorporate some form of cardiovascular activity, whether it's, whether it's walking or hiking. But what's too much? I mean, it all depends on the person, the goal, you know, what, what you're looking to do with your body. If your goal is to have lots of endurance, you're going to do way more of this stuff than if your goal is to build maximal muscle. And if you want great health, um, I it's probably best to do some form of walking or cardiovascular activity every single day. Yeah, I think, I mean... It if, if I'm getting too much activity per day, you're going to know that. Like if I have a really rigorous job, if I'm, I'm constantly on my feet, I would, I would definitely make sure that my nutrition is, is supplementing that. And so I'm getting adequate nutrition to kind of, you know, help uh, along that process. Cause uh, that's one of those things it's, it's, daily activity is going to be a constant that your body's going to end up adapting to anyway. So that's, that's something that's like, you got to kind of, you know, take that into consideration along with your training program as well. I've never had a client ever, 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 uh, do too much walking. So, uh, I, I, you could pretty much, as long as you're being fed, you know, and getting adequate macronutrients, you're hitting your, your, your basic macronutrient targets, um, I 99.9% .9 yeah, most of the time, people don't walk enough, right? I'm, I'm yeah, advising, usually the I, I'm advising more walks, more walks, more walks, take more walks, especially at a time right now with, with COVID and most people being in mm -hmm. shelter in place. So, uh, it, it will be really tough uh, to, to overdo, uh, something like this. Yeah. For me personally, and I, always, I like resistance strength, my favorite form of exercise. In other words, you know, my goals, they change, but what do I like the most, right? I like to be strong. I like to feel like I have some muscle on my body. And I have found for me that the ideal amount of steps every single day to accomplish that is anywhere between twelve to 14,000 a day. Most people don't even get a half of that, right? And that's for me who's, who always likes to be strong and muscular. If my goal was endurance or stamina, um, it would be a lot more than that. So just to give you a little bit of a reference you know, in, in terms of my personal goals.